So guys, today we've got a box from eBay and this is for a tennis trolley that I bought online. It was around $49. All right, so we have here the Torna ball port. All right, let's open it. The box does have some scuff marks here, but ultimately this box is just to protect your product and it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. So I got this to uh, maximize and make more efficient the time I the time I have in the tennis court. So um, and you've got these poles. So this does come with instructions, which is handy. And it looks like I'll be needing my screwdriver because there's screws here. Yeah, so I've got the instructions, so here it is, so I've just got to pick the side panel, I need a screwdriver and a hammer, we'll put the side panel in, alright, so I'm going to get my tools and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I'm back and we, the first step is picking this side panel with the ballpoint name for my Phillips head driver, screwdriver, and um, so we've got to pick an end panel and push it together. All right, so we've got a hammer. So we need to hammer the center first. So you just got to make sure you have a hammer and um, and the screwdriver when you do like this. Nice, so that's in. I'll do this first. Size done. So that's in. So here we have that. And so, hey guys, so you can just uh, sort of push it in. You don't need to take it off and like disassemble it like I so make sure you read the instructions because I kind of didn't okay now it doesn't want to fit just hoping it can fit yes all right did fit yes right, that's good now we need to do the bottom and hoping the same is not too bad should fit in Yep, so that's the bottom done and dusted. Let's get this final one in. All right, that's all done. Make sure you secured everything. So we just put it in here. Fits in. Oh, doesn't want to. Okay, that's in inserting your screws. So that's assembled. Now you just need to tighten everything. So I'm gonna insert this. I'll just screw this and then basically nearly done. It probably takes you just under half an hour if you follow the instructions like I kind of did but really didn't. So that's done, easy. Done. And after this, we got four more screws. All right, so it's done. All right. That should be good. All right. 
So, that's basically done. So now I should be able to pick up balls, which I'll do now. Alright, so I've got some balls here that I recently opened, so I'm going to test this, see if it works. Yep, so it does. Perfect. Now I'm going to see if I can do two of them. Yep, I can do two of them, which is perfect. And I'll do another one. So this one can hold um, 80 balls, so I'm going to open more of my balls and see if I can put them in. Alright, so I've got some balls here and once I basically pump all of them out it's going to be at least at least uh, 72 so here is those ones I've got 8 inside now Um, it's take a while. So Wilson ones. Got twelve. And All right. So I've currently got twelve in there, just about. So continue. I'm not sure what they put in these cans, but it's. Definitely pressurized air, which is nice to open. There we go. Yep. It's got a bit there. Right, continue on. We've got definitely quite a few times to go. So we have. 30 balls in there now. I think this can definitely hold 80, but I'm just gonna go to 80 anyway. See how we go. Right. So we've got. opened um, eight cans, so we've got 48 there. Uh, they smell pretty good as well. So we've got 45 balls in there. So I saw a video where you can actually reuse the the tubes. So I mean, usually I I store my balls in the tubes, but having this quantity probably better in the basket. And these don't like I don't have to worry about these losing pressure anyway. They're pretty cheap balls. Um, but you can reuse these tubes. I've saw a video online and they basically turn it into a, a pickup tube for balls. So that's definitely a good good use. So so far we have how many have we opened? Um, how many do we have in there? Four, five, six, seven. So we've opened 14 tubes. That means we have uh, like 56 balls I think. Yeah, 56, so I still, I don't know, I don't know if this can hold up to 80, see if it lives up to it. So we have 60 in there. And I mean, probably I could recycle these stainless steel ones or turn it, or melt it down into stainless steel, but Probably melting it down isn't the best use of resources because 
you'd probably be using more energy to actually do it, so it's probably not probably better to just recycle. But you could make a bar from it, so. Yeah. All right. So, uh, okay, I think we have uh, quite a bit there. So there's 18 tubes there, so that's 72 balls. Okay, um, and it looks pretty full already. I mean, I'm gonna open two more of the Wilson ones, see if how many we can actually fit in there. All right, hey guys, so I've got the remaining two. Let's see if we can actually stuff them in or not. I'm not sure if we can, but... So I guess like, oh, I guess you have some leeway here. You just can't store it internally. Uh, okay, so that's 76. 20th tin. Got some nice Wilson 2s. Okay, so that's 80 balls. 80 balls. So there it is, that's, that's 80. Well, you can see it's pretty damn big, it holds a lot. And for 50 bucks, that's pretty good. And so here are all the, the tins. There's 20 here, and that's basically how much we fit in, in this ball trolley. Amazing. It's quite a lot. So I'm going to be playing with these tonight in an hour or so, and I'll see how this goes.